Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Under Rail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual! It is usual, isn't it? <laughs> Freaking Deathstalkers. That one was stuck. And I couldn't start combat because this game has weird notions about saves coming. I don't, I don't, it's not even about saves coming. It's, it's weird. This game is a weird example for, uh, it's very dark. I was going to say it's very dark in here and there's death stalkers. There are definitely death stalkers around here. Um, this game has, uh, is a weird example for, oh, you can only have the one. I have just ruined everything. Why do I do these? Oh, lucky me. Um, so, hmm. okay, it's alone. Oh, so this game is a game that has a lot of criticals. As you know, as you see me do a lot of criticals every once in a while. There we go. We can only have the one, so that's that's the problem there. Um, and it has a lot of the same strategy being capable of doing wildly different results or achieving uh, wildly different results. So it's 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 what I mean. It's a game that uh, sometimes a battle you just don't it didn't win. You did your best. No, you jerk. Okay. You did your best, and. Uh, you tried to pull off a great strategy and whatnot, and you fail, and you die. But and and and, and there's some games where that result would would be reason for you to be like, okay, I'm gonna try this, and I'm gonna try a different strategy. I'm gonna try doing something different, right? That makes sense. This game is not always like that. It is like that a lot, but it's not always like that. It's a game where the Differences in um, in damage output and the critical chances and all that sort of stuff do make it uh, a good good game for safe scumming, basically. And in fact, the first time I played it, okay, where the heck? I don't. I have no idea what happened to that other creature. Uh, and in the first game, I remember two two battles in particular that were absolutely like I was out of I didn't have any idea what to do and uh, so I just you know tried it over and over again I spent like a whole afternoon for both of those fights and uh, that's 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 what I that's what I'm talking about that's very powerful um, and that's that's the best thing I could have done I couldn't figure it out and we're gonna do those battles and hopefully this time I'm not gonna need to save scum and in fact I'm not safe scumming in this uh, nowhere near as much in this let's play which is great I love it and this mostly because this this uh, this build is amazing but also yeah it's mostly because this build is amazing but that leads me that it's basically what I'm trying to say I don't know if there's gonna be an access point from behind basically what I'm trying to say is that this game doesn't need to give me minus a, a thousand initiative when I a, a run away from a battle. <laughs> it doesn't need to impede me from entering stealth or combat right as you enter a level because that's what it does. There's no need for that. I can. I might as well just reload. Like, oh, light switch. That's great. Okay. Ooh, look at that. We have a skeleton on a sofa. A bunch of lockpicks. I really like those. And a box. It requires hacking. Easy enough. 60. Scope. Very nice scope. The rest of it is junk. We have Burrower Poison, a, a Balaclava over here. Pretty nice Balaclava. Stealth by 13 and Intimidation. It looked nice to me. Oh, and this is the area that I could have gone to right away. I saw this and I'm like, no, this is where all the terrible things are. Turns out it isn't. <laughs> Turns out this was a, the easiest part. No, I turn, take that back. Oh. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, that's going to hurt me. Oh. Well, I guess that 
explains it. You cannot place it in a place... You cannot place it in a place where there are multiple... Where there are people already. Mm hmm I was expecting... To find other crawlers. Okay, I got lucky there. Let's run. Oh, there's more. Okay, I ran out of that. And try running proper. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is happening still. Or this is, uh, I can do this. But I can't. Okay. They're dumb, and they just run into that. That, oof, it's a nasty one as well. Um, okay, let's try this. This gives me a cheap fireball right there. That set me on fire too. I didn't need that. I could have, I could have done without that. Can, can we not have that? It's, at least I'm not afraid. So that's a nice thing. Okay. Okay, now I'm on fire a little bit. Can't put myself out. Whew. It'd be nice if I could. <laughs> Just throw some, some uh, cryokinesis on me. It makes sense as well if I could. It would take damage, but... Eh, it's probably not worth it. It wouldn't be worth it. It's only... Yeah, it wouldn't be because the damage is out so high. Okay, these guys really don't have anything for us. These death stalkers. For all I know, those rocks are just a way to bypass them. Another crawler with another crawler's eye. Oh no. Oh! That's pretty nice! Okay, you're by yourself. And two criticals do the job. There's more. They they were not by themselves. Okay, this is a nice uh, a nice, uh, bottleneck here. You gotta be kidding me. It is a nice bottleneck, if I used it properly. Which I am. I am gonna use it properly. Oh! Oh, yeah, I took... Yeah, that's good. Okay. What the hell? Ugh. Okay. They were not behind us. They just have a different way. Yeah, there's no passage. Oh, hi. I ran into them. You gotta be kidding me. So bottlenecks only work... Like, for example, this one over here is gonna work. Because I can put this over here. And just chill. I just stay here, and I know that they, they can't attack me from the back. So they will need to go over there. And I'll be able to do things like this. And just be like, oi! Okay. Well, it turns out they can't attack me from other places, though. Mm, I hate you all. I hope I can hit you. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna die here. Fireball time. Oh. Lucky me. Didn't die yet. Son of a... Okay. Cryostasis. I don't have... Psy enough for that. I'll try this one. Still don't have Psy enough for that. But I do have Psy enough for this. Okay, that's gonna stun you. And then I'm gonna be able to do this. And this. And save the game immediately after. Were those the only two? Were there only two? I think maybe. Let's unload this. Oh no, it's stupid bullets. I don't need them. Okay. So now we don't have the, the nasty thing, so we can use one of these. I wonder if I can use a bandage when I have the that skill. 
or that effect on me. I need to read the description because I think it's only when you consume things you take unavoidable damage. Yep. I figured. So that's why I didn't blow that up. Okay. Very dark back here, but nothing. Well, there, there was all the, uh, the death crawlers. Also interesting that there, there's not more over here. I really do hope I've killed them all. I don't expect to have killed them all. This is a way too big of a map. It's really hard to see, of course, but... Save all the time, because you never know when you're going to be attacked. And when you are, it's going to be because randomness. And there's a... Climb down area? Hi! Oh, see? I ran into them. Okay. That's... That's... I can do that. That looks like a good place for us to hang out. Come on, give me the thing. Oh, he didn't give me the thing. Is it the, uh, only the death stalkers that actually do that? Yeah, because it's a crawler. Hmm. Good. Save. Did I lose more than 15? Oh, no. Yep, and there's a Death Stalker. Well, the good thing is, I know exactly what you're gonna do, mate. So I'm just gonna hang out. Oh, there it is. Consuming any type of medicine. Consuming medicine? That's not what bandages are. Unfortunately, it is exactly what it, I thought it meant. <laughs> if you use a bandage, you will throw up. Or whatever that is. Hypoallergenic, yeah. It's not. Hyper. Yeah, hypoallergenic. I was going to say that's not what hypoallergenic means. Yeah, it, it certainly isn't. Uh, it's hypo, hyper. Hypo is the opposite of hyper, by the way. I can hear people talking. Oh, it's probably in real life. I have open back headphones, and uh, and so sometimes it's uh, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, it's really good. The uh, open back headphones are really well. They're really good. Period. But they're really good for when you're in a, on the microphone, because I got used to um, I got used to my voice or the sound of my controlling my volume and all that sort of stuff. Controlling the voice in specific, uh, but controlling the volume when uh, yeah, we're going down. We're absolutely going down. Um, when I, uh, you know, I had over ear headphones, which is just those headphones that cover all of your ears and sort of make. Oh no, this is even worse. Holy crap, that is a. What? A bad crawler? I don't. I saw the name. That was a big one. Okay. Dazed. No. No, well... A black crawler. Right. Okay. Uh, and so, as I was saying... Um, so, I got used to that. And I'm not dazed. Fantastic. Um, I, could, I could do some other things here, I think. That looks like a nice little... Yeah, that looks like a nice little uh, haven for me. Um... Let's see what I want to do here. Temporal distortion. Probably isn't gonna. Hmm. Just a normal attack, I guess. Let's do this. So I'm gonna try to frighten it. It's probably gonna resist. <laughs> It did not resist, which is weird. Uh, and then I'm going to attack with this. And then with this. If it's alone by itself, then yeah. It's toast. Okay, we're out of sight. Runs forever. Okay, it's going to be afraid for a little while longer. For quite a while longer, in fact. Should have moved. Okay. 
Okay. No, oh, it's healing. That's pretty bad. So I got used to the, to my voice talking and my voice being sort of muffled and all that sort of stuff. And um, and I even know let's players who have you you know record while ha and I have seen people do that recording voice while having one of the cups of the headphones sort of uh, open just so they can hear their voice a little bit better. Uh, which is definitely a, a reasonable way of doing of of approaching it, but it's certainly not ideal. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing Sai again, ain't I? Okay, it's gonna come for me, so I will do this. Oh, interesting. You gotta be kidding me. I see you. Oh, that sucks. I do a force field around it. But th uh, then I bought uh, open back headphones, which basically the back is open. That's not as the name says. Says. Uh, and I can hear things. It's not very good if you're in a crowded space. I can put these down, which I really would like to. But it is good if you're trying to hear yourself. That is... This guy's tricky to kill! Because it always takes damage. So I put out the fire. Used my fire there to the best of its abilities. Okay, now hopefully... Th yeah, this is good. Good, good, good. Yeah, pulled it off. So the trick there was actually... Well, we did it, no matter what. But it's good to run out of Psy. Just so you can do as little of this ability as possible. Because that thing... It, it wastes uh, action points and it wastes Psy. Uh, so, because the, 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 le the less you do of it, the more damage per every one of your resources you actually do. And we have an Arbinger Bipod over here. Some really heavy bullets and contaminated bullets recipe. So if you're looking for headphones and you are just just mean to have them... Did I just say if you are just mean? That's not, not what I mean. Uh, if you just mean to use them to, for home cinema or to listen to music by yourself, then open back headphones are phenomenal. They are incredible. It's... it's um, that's, yeah, they're just really, really good. But if you use them on the train and or anything, they're just not usable. That's you can't do that because <laughs> you hear everything else, including you, if you talk. We have adaptive night goggles over here, which increase perception. Not really for me. They're really expensive. Galvanic riot armor with steel shield over here. I can't use it because it requires strength. It's super expensive, but it's also super heavy. So. Yeah, 35% chance to block up to 59 points of mechanical melee damage. Excuse me, Jacob. That's the shield. Also, electricity resistance for a lot. And this is fabric. You know what? I'll actually take it. I'll take that. Shotgun shell. Mm, those are not good. Crawler poison bear trap is also not good. Okay, well... Let, leave the, the bomb, not the bomb, the mine over there. And let's go back into the darkness. But not really, because... Again, like the other area, this is just self-contained and... Just a little place for treasure. We did the little place, place for treasure. And also, wasn't, wasn't it in one of these that we learned an ability? Wasn't it here that we got, like, a tutor, maybe? 
Anyway, we're going. Uh, we're this is yeah. Let's go to the cross passage, whatever it's called. It's not a cross railing, rail crossing, rail crossing. That I I get there. Eh, it's good. I can do things. I can, I'm good sometimes. Yeah, I think it's this way. It's and it's gonna be an interesting. It's gonna be an interesting battle or fight or a few interesting fights because the um, well. There's two missions in there, and I think one of them we haven't found yet. This looks like... Rail Crossing. We even changed the soundtrack. Excuse me. Man, I hope they didn't kill... Oh. Uh, he said the name of his buddy, I think. There's commoners going around. Dude is a pretty odd guy, if you ask me. Dude? I think dude is a name. Be careful when you leave rail crossing. There's a lot of iron heads, lunatics, and other gangs around these parts. Yes, there are. And they are really mean. And uh, I don't know which ones are the worst. I think the iron heads are the worst. They're not metal heads. They're iron heads. Specifically. They're not any metal. They just specifically want iron. Okay. Can I? Thank you. Upon... This is Travis, not dude. Upon entering what appears to be a repair shop of some kind, a variety of odors meet your sense of smell. You recognize rubber, oil, burnt fusion cells, and mushroom stew. Why not a coma there? Nobody will ever know. More precisely, you identify it to be the stew made from the so-called swine shrooms, named appropriately since they smell much like pork when cooked. Oh. Why aren't they called pork shroom shrooms then? Or bacon shrooms? Anyway, the man behind the counter sits leaned into his flimsy chair. Sure. Uh, voraciously scooping what's left of the stuff from his bowl. His feet resting on the counter. After finishing, he sets the bowl aside, wipes his mouth with his sleeve, and gets up from the chair, or from his chair, and leans against the counter. Howdy! I am Travis, the mechanic! His tongue passes over his teeth to clean residue food. What you need? You seem pretty relaxed considering what's happening right now. I am aware of what's going on out there, and that anything can happen, but there ain't nothing I can do about it. Panic ain't gonna do any good. You seem pretty... No, yeah, well, I guess. My name's Gary. Good for you. What's with all the broken quads? Them? Ah, it's just some old junk I've been keeping around forever. None of them are functional, but there are still working parts that can be scrapped from them. Now, I had an S750 sitting outside the shop up until a month ago. That was a sight to behold. What's an S750? S750K, to be exact. Hot as hell. With 200 kilowatts of unadulterated power under your ass, that beautiful beast can take you anywhere. 200 kilowatts. That's like 350 horsepower. Something around there. Is it? I think... It's more than that. Yeah, uh, well, somewhere around there. Anyway, well, not that particular one, since one of its cells had caught fire and burned everything under the hood. It has a hood? I thought it was a motorcycle. Couldn't you repair it? Nope. Way out of my league. I just held on to, I just held on to it so I could acquire, admire it. And I salvaged some stuff before I sold it to scrap. Junkyard, where it's at now. Uh... Okay, well, I can go there, I suppose. I'm not really sure I can do anything with it, but I suppose that's that. Uh, you, you got any more stew, man? That thing smelled like heaven. I mean, pork. He stares at you for a moment. Yep, I got more in the back. Then he grins. But I ain't sharing, I suppose. Um, what can you tell me about rail crossing? We're a small station, not too small to be completely defenseless from the bandits and stuff, but not big enough to always sleep easily. I don't know, girl, we got some basic stuff. A bar, shop, doc's office, miles of store, but a shop is probably what folks from other stations know us best for, uh, which could change if the faceless mess him up. The, the faceless mess him up? Do you know why the faceless attack rail crossing? Nope, they seem to want something from Buzzer, or just something from his shop. Creepy looking bastards, I hope we get rid of them soon. Speaking of which, I picked up that thing and I never looked at it. I have to look at it. I think maybe some, some of you might have commented that in the comments that I picked it up and I didn't take it. I will look at it. I'm looking for Terry and Laura Baker, merchants from SGS. Have you seen them recently? Nope, I haven't seen those guys in weeks, maybe even months. 
Okay, can he trade? He does, he can. Okay, so sort, then we have plot, and there it is, the strange power cell, some sort of a power cell. It doesn't have the standard power connectors, however. Uh, that's, uh, absolutely, it does not. Uh, and we have some really expensive stuff over here, which is nice to have. Let's put that over there. So we're right now at 4,500. Over here we're at 2,500, which means things like that and this can net us a little bit of money. Let's see what he sells. Some energy sells. That's not too shabby. I don't think I need anything else around here. Black cloth, that's high quality right there. I think I used that for stealth over here on this thing. I mean, I, I guess I can, I can get it if I come back. There it is. So 420. Blaze it. What can I sell? Hmm. I don't think I can sell much. Yep. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much for the the things. Moving on then. See if we can meet the... What? He called... He had the name for them. Well, their name. I don't remember the name though. The shop. The one that... The... Ooh, close the door. Uh, the one that the faceless want. There's a barkeep. And there's a guy called Dude. And Jared. And a commoner. And the end of the episode as well. Because we're out of time for the day. And an arcade. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's going to be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.